everyone. In this section, I'm going to explain the purpose of oil mediums, how it's used, and how to apply the concepts of fat over lean with different mediums. So what is the purpose of oil mediums? Well, let's take a step back and look at the properties of oil paint. Oil paint is made of pigment, oil, and Damar crystals. Pigment is made of a variety of substances like metals and precious stones, and the history of pigment dates back to before the classical and medieval periods, so there's been a lot of changes in how pigment is synthesized as technology becomes more advanced and new geological discoveries leading to new stones and colors being extracted. Oil is extracted from trees and plants such as linseed, walnut, and poppy. Damar crystals are made from tree sap and gives a very sickative and sticky property to paint. And it's one of the most important ingredients in paint. Damar crystals is what makes the paint stick together and to the surface that it's applied to when it's dried. It also speeds up the drying time. So Damar crystals is actually a key ingredient in oil paint. So what is oil medium made of? Oil medium contains oil, which as I mentioned, is extracted from trees and plants, Damar crystals, and sometimes it includes paint thinner as well. So to achieve different results, oil paint is typically mixed with an oil medium by dipping the brush in the medium and then mixing it directly into the color on the palette before applying it on the canvas. So I will go over some more specific uses of oil medium shortly here, but this is a general idea of what oil medium is. What oil mediums do to oil paint? I get asked this a lot about what happens when you mix oil paint with oil medium. Well, the answer is it depends because different paint will react differently with different types of oil medium. That's because the natural consistency of paint fresh out of the tube will differ depending on the color. Some paints are more fluid than others, some are more thick, some are opaque, while some are transparent. And that's why artists will mix in oil mediums into their palette as they are mixing colors to change the, how the paint feels while, while they are painting, how it dries, and also how it looks after it dries. So oil mediums can change the consistency of paint. More oil will give the paint more body and less oil will make the paint more fluid. It also affects the drying time. More oil medium makes the paint dry faster and less will make it dry slower. And for finishing results, the luster can also change depending on the oil medium. It can dry glossy or matte. The oil content as well. The more oil that you add makes the paint more fat and the less oil content makes the paint more lean. Let's look deeper into this. So here's a spectrum of oil mediums. So instead of classifying oil mediums as one type of property, there's actually a wide range of spectrum. So on one end of the spectrum, the thickest type of oil medium, alkyl medium, as I mentioned before, a lot of the mediums that you buy at art stores contain different proportions of oil and thinner, and that's why they are usually marked as quick dry or slow dry. And you can typically eyeball how thick it is in the container. Alka medium is very thick and it almost looks like honey in the bottle. If you move it around, you can see that it's very thick. So on the thick end of the spectrum, Alka makes the paint more fluid, more glossy. It also decreases the drying time as it contains Damar crystals. This is usually used at the later stages of the painting for thicker finishing results. On the other end of the spectrum, Paint thinner actually breaks down Damar crystals and it deteriorates the stickiness of the medium or the paint. So it actually increases the drying time. You want to use thinner at earlier stages of the painting 
so the bottom layers are more thin. So as a general rule of thumb, there's two main uses of foil mediums. Some artists will stick to one medium, such as walnut alkyd medium, throughout the painting, while others will use a thinner with alkyd medium. You can mix it yourself in different proportions as the painting progresses to achieve fat over lean results. Some specific uses of oil mediums, you can mix thinner with paint at the beginning to create a thin underpainting, or you could glaze by mixing oil medium with little paint to achieve transparent colors at rendering stages. You can also mix oil medium with paint to create a thick impasto result. And last but not least, you can always glaze a thin coat of oil medium on dry surfaces to bring out dark colors and to allow wet into wet results. So that's how you use oil medium. So to summarize this, what does it mean by fat over lean? How do I actually apply everything that I just explained into creating fat over lean? When we say add more oil, it doesn't mean pour more oil onto the paint. What this means is as the painting progresses, the proportion of oil to thinner also increases. Remember, it's the proportion of oil to thinner. And the more oil will make it more fat, more body, dry faster, more glossy, and vice versa with less oil. When we are painting, remember that the bottom layer should always dry before the top or else it will crack. Lower layers should always have more thinner and less oil medium. The upper layers should have more oil and less gamsol, which is a thinner. So it's common for artists to mix equal parts of oil medium and thinner for their mixture at the beginning stages of their painting, and then just slowly use less thinner in the mixture during later stages. And then for the finishing, use only medium in the mixture for the finishing. So for my demonstration, we're going to use Gamsol for the thinner and Walnut Alkit Medium. If you don't have that, you can also use Galkit as well.